Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. As kids 5 to 11 get their first COVID shots, families expressing relief and hope that this could mark a turning point in the pandemic. The infrastructure deal in Washington is about to send billions of dollars to Michigan, and we're learning more about it from our state's former governor. And a Southfield woman in a months-long battle with Best Buy reaches out to Help Me Hank and gets immediate results. Glad you're with us at 6. This local mother purchased a laptop for a few thousand dollars. Then came major shipping issues. She was without the laptop and in desperate need of a refund. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester live tonight. Hank, what happened here may be happening to many consumers this holiday season. Karen, Devin, I think it's going to play out this situation to a lot of people all over. That's why we want to share this information with you. You can imagine how frustrating this has been for this woman. She made her way into this Best Buy here on Telegraph in Southfield. As you mentioned, wanted to get a laptop for her son, but she's been dealing with this issue, trying to get the laptop or a refund for months and no action until we got involved. Come along with us here inside the Southfield Best Buy store on Telegraph. It's here where Felicia Tarvin says she purchased an almost $3,500 laptop like this one for her son in September. Weeks pass, but the laptop was never delivered. Going back and forth with FedEx and the, the weight saying it was lost or it's, it's um, in delayed status. Felicia kept getting these alerts and text messages about the shipping but the laptop was missing. It's extremely frustrating because um, um, I was getting with the runaround with FedEx first. It's, it's, we're, we're holding it, we're waiting, um, it's in the truck. Frustrated, she decided to cancel her order with Best Buy. She was told that she would get a full refund, but says she never got the money. So while she never received the laptop, Best Buy was also not refunding her money until an investigation into the shipping issues was completed. That's when she called me for help. I contacted Best Buy Corporate this morning, and just a short time later, Felicia got the call that she's been waiting for. Her refund has finally arrived. I feel wonderful. That's $3,600. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. And we are happy too. That's a lot of cash to be tied up. Now listen, I unfortunately believe a lot of people are gonna have similar issues like this one. We've been focusing on supply chain issues and mail problems all over Metro Detroit. If you're having an issue you need me to investigate, these are all the different ways you can get in touch with the Help Me Hank team. We are live here tonight in Southfield. Hank Winchester, Help Me Hank, Local 4. Now, Hank, you've done several stories about FedEx shipping issues. Do they have anything to say about this delay? And Karen, FedEx said that they were dealing with issues with getting the product from Best Buy, and then they had issues transporting the item from Memphis back up here to Detroit. Listen, there's going to be a lot of problems just like this one. Buyer, beware. Glad back to see to you. you were able to help. We appreciate it. Thank you, Hank. We move to the coronavirus headlines for this Monday. Today, the state reporting 8,000. 911 new cases of the virus over the last three days. So the average right now, 2,970 cases a day. 47 more people have lost their lives to the coronavirus. That's the numbers from over the weekend. Michigan also tracking coronavirus outbreaks in schools across the state. There are currently 104 new COVID-19 outbreaks in Michigan schools. Meantime, a Biden administration official says Pfizer is expected to seek emergency authorization for its COVID booster in all patients 18 and older. The FDA already authorized the booster for people 65 or older and for people at increased risk of contracting COVID due to medical, living or working conditions. If approved, the new EUA would extend to any adult. More families are taking the opportunity to get children ages 5 to 11 vaccinated now that the Pfizer COVID shot is available in lower dose pediatric form. Now at 5, Sean Lay showed us the first of those younger kids in Detroit to get the shot. He also found a lot of relief and excitement at a clinic over in Ann Arbor. 
This clinic here at Michigan Medicine went live at one o'clock. I'm going to show you how parents lined up almost an hour early for this. There were a few tears actually not from kids worried about the needle, but tears of joy from some parents. It's really big. I was I was crying yesterday. I couldn't believe it. You know, we're coming here. We made our plane tickets. Mom, Kara Zivin and 10 year old son Reed. They're first in line an hour early for Michigan Medicine's COVID vaccination clinic for kids. The goal for young Reed. I, I'm ready to travel again and yeah. Well, Where do you want to go? We're, uh, hopefully we're going to go see my grandparents in California. To me, I just feel like I've been waiting for this day for since the pandemic began, so nice. we're really excited to be here. Waiting for this day, that's what we're hearing here from parents and their kids. And as soon as the vaccine was available, it, I signed up right online right away. Nora is six. She brought a friend. She's ready. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared, but mostly excited to get it. Midnight on November 5th, refreshing. When can I sign her up for this? You know? Here you are. And here I am, and I, I'm hoping that I don't get too emotional, honestly, because I've been waiting and waiting. Cameron, are you excited? Yes. About what? Um, Mostly to get back to playing with my friends and my cousins and being back to normal. We obviously want them to be protected as well. Uh, and be able to enjoy life as much as close to normal as you possibly can. To me, the best thing about getting the vaccine is I don't have to wear these masks anymore. I read a headline today. It said trash the masks. <laughs> I agree. I agree with it. So parents, if you're interested, Michigan Medicine in Ann Arbor continues to take appointments for vaccine in children in Oakland County off to a big start. The Oakland County Health Division vaccinating more than 300 kids today at its Hazel Park uh, Clinic and clinics for kids in schools in Oakland County. Uh, those clinics will be school based during school hours. We're here at the Northwest Activity Center where after school today it has been busy all the way up until seven o'clock. Back to you. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. You noticed as we were, you and I were walking through the lobby, you know, sudden, to set, I'm like, all of a it sudden, is how dark, dark it is. I know, pretty crazy. It just happens. You know it's coming, but man. I, it catches you <laughs> off guard every time. That's why you need those higher temperatures and sunshine, right? You got to balance yeah. that out. <laughs> well, fortunately, it is still pretty mild out there with temperatures now in many places below 60 degrees, but we made up to 65, in, even 67 degrees in some areas, like at City Airport. It was 67 degrees a couple of hours ago. Now it's a cooler 63, but it still feels great outdoors, even with it getting darker 58 for our friends in Howell. still a hint of sunshine out there sunset uh, just under an hour ago you're still looking at the western sky and over southwest Detroit and the mighty ambassador bridge 58 degrees and mostly clear skies at the airport clear skies over downtown Detroit a nice southwesterly flow of air and it remains clear as we head toward the next couple of hours by 11 o'clock tonight it will still be dry with a few more clouds overhead but notice a lot more clouds gather by dawn and a few of them thicken lower and give us some showers for tomorrow. So how much rain is going to fall or how heavy or light will it be? We'll talk more about that in your seven day forecast in minutes. Andrew, state of Michigan is expecting a major influx of government money in the days ahead. Part of the infrastructure bill that was passed late Friday night, which President Biden is expected to sign soon. With a look at just how much is on its way and what it's for, we bring in our business editor, Rob Maloney. He's got a chance to talk about it with former governor and the current secretary of energy, Jennifer Granholm. Rob. Smooth roads start with orange barrels, and we've been dodging them on a very regular basis lately. But now, road and bridge construction is certain to ramp up here, as the infrastructure bill, according to the governor's office, is going to pump more than $7 billion into the state, another half billion for our rickety bridges. Energy Secretary Granholm says we should see a lot of that money soon because it goes directly to Lansing. Some of the programs that are in the infrastructure deal, Rod, are by formula. So some of that highway money will come to the state um, fairly quickly. Michigan's next big federal funding boost will put a billion dollars into the state's spotty mass transit system. The Flint and Benton Harbor water crises grabbed the headlines, but smaller cities around the state are discovering high lead water line problems as well. We'll see more than a billion dollars for that expense. In this infrastructure bill, part of the bones of the infrastructure is making sure we have pipes that allow uh, families to drink water without fear of poisoning. That's true in schools as well. Michigan will receive $100 million to run high-speed internet to rural areas and another $110 million for new electric vehicle chargers. The private sector has decided it's not in their interest. They can't make the return on investment to be able to put charging stations, for example, in rural areas, in poorer areas, or in areas where they don't have a, a 
large penetration of electric vehicles. So Governor Gretchen Whitmer is going to have to work with the Republican legislature on spending plans. As it stands, there are already about five billion federal COVID dollars remaining unspent. Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, thank you, Rod. And all clear is given to the people of Flat Rock after a gas leak at the nearby Ford plant prompted evacuations back in August. The Wayne County Health Department and Michigan Department of Health and Human Services say they've reviewed samples and confirmed that the gas leak is no longer a threat to the air inside homes and businesses. While most residents who were evacuated went home in late September, small number of homes were not yet cleared, including one final home. That home was cleared last week. The list of Michigan's movers and shakers that comes out once every half decade. And everyone on it is a woman, and we will have a look ahead at that. And here's Megan Woods. There's a national shortage of blood donations, and coming up tonight, we introduce you to one of the many local patients that are depending on the blood that you give. Children ages five and up can get vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccination helps prevent kids from getting seriously sick and protects friends and family members too. Children under 12 get a smaller dose, one third of the size of the adult dose. The vaccine is available at pharmacies and from pediatricians. As with any vaccine, children may experience some side effects such as a sore arm or feeling tired, but don't worry, that's a sign the body is building protection. Get the facts about the vaccine. Pat has seen it all, but next we owe this incredible solve. How in the heck? Has him asking. That's I want an explanation right now. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 7, only on Local 4. Hi, I'm Florine Mark of WW, and it's important to understand that a health and wellness journey, it takes time. But WW is designed to help you learn new healthy habits. Nancy, you've lost 120 pounds with WW. What did you learn from your coaches? My coaches encouraged me to set weekly goals and to celebrate non-scale victories as well. So what was the best advice the WW coaches gave you? Through my cancer surgery and even through the holidays, they encouraged me to stay positive and this is my new normal. WW helps so many people improve their health every day. Our amazing coaches teach science-backed strategies that really work. You can do it. Come see us at WW. I'm Florine Mark, and don't forget to eat those fruits and vegetables. A high school where your child can earn both a high school diploma and a college degree for free? Welcome to National Heritage Academies, where preparing kids for college starts on day one and ends with a high school diploma and an associate degree. 100% of our students complete advanced placement courses, and 100% are college accepted. Students also received over $1 million in college scholarships in 2020. If you want your child to